Let's get right into it. How's that for a hook? Here we go. Okay, so the first thing I want you to see with this design is it's overcrowded. It's got stuff everywhere. The bushes have had their day. It's time to clean up. So number one, what you want to do when you're getting into a design, a front yard design, is look at what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Here, I'd say the palm tree, and that's kind of about it, and it's bye-bye time. By the way, we're in Florida if you haven't figured that out. But if you are in a different state and this isn't going to pertain to you because of tropical climate or whatever it may be, you can still take some of the principles I'm going to show you right now. So number one, clear out, get rid of, make sure it looks great. Number two, I think that it is incredibly important to have fun with those curves of the beds, but a tip I don't think I've ever said like in any video, 90 plus videos, is when you are making your curves, do them purposefully. And what I mean is pull that bed out in certain spots where you know that you want to have a focal point. That could be a cool tree, that could be a pot, that could be a boulder, that could be all kinds of different things. But when you are making the curves, if you know you're walking up your driveway or walking up your walkway and you want to see something right there, that's where you make the curve and bring it out so that you have room for that focal point. The final tip is when you are planting, make sure that you've got a balance of different heights and textures, a balance of color, and make sure that when you put all this stuff together, you highlight those really cool focal points. Meaning, right by the driveway, we've got a really cool pot with some like snake kind of uh, tropical plants. They call them snake whatever. I forget what they're called on the spot here. But that's a cool little thing. Shine a light on that. That's going to look really neat. You got a boulder. You got a Japanese maple. You got a lilac or what did I put there? It's almost like a hibiscus. Either way, when you pick stuff out that's really, really cool, make sure that you highlight it and then all the other stuff can be a backdrop. So you've got your color, your balance, your focal points, you're lighting it up at night and you are good to go. All of a sudden this went from kind of a hodgepodge, outdated, cluttered yuckiness to boom. Now, how much does it cost if you're going to do something like this by yourself? DIYer, with a little bit of turf repair, if you do decide to put in the, the paver walkway, you're probably going to be around that 4,500 marker with all the plants and the pavers and the materials that go with. If you hire a company to do that, I'd say you're around the 10 to maybe even the 12 marker, depending on the kind of lighting you put and everything else. So that is a quick template for you, just getting right to the chase of a couple of tips. Here's how you go from bad to good and it looks awesome. If you like this kind of video, go watch this one. Same kind of thing. Let's go and do another one. See you there.